them here because these ones are bigger than the other ones there. Oh, were they mm. the other ones? Yeah, exactly. If oh, you put wow. the big ones with the small ones, the big ones are going to eat the small, small ones. ones. Oh, yes. wow. Yes. And you said that you usually also sell the small ones to fishermen who exactly. catch big what? Who exactly. catch big fish. As a bait. As a bait. Oh. So they have a market for the people who eat like us and then the people who fish. Okay. Yeah. Well, the temperatures mm -hmm. will help the fish to grow faster because they eat a lot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah they eat a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So what do you feed the fish? The fish we feed using uh, a commercial feed. Mm -hmm. Mary. Commercial feed. Which it's brand is this? Feed. Yeah, which brand is this? I don't know if you're yeah, allowed you to talk about what brands. Okay. Yeah, Be keeping, ready. We are keeping this picture. This one. <laughs> Those are those are those are flies. Mm. We use them for something, I'll show you. Mm. So we use this to feed the fish. Look, look. Oh, you're gonna see the fish do you How many fish do you have in this particular area? Here we have between we have right now we have seven hundred. Oh. Okay. But capacity, what's the most it can take? It 1, can 000. take one thousand. One thousand, yes. okay. It can take one thousand. Okay. Uh, yes. Do you recommend a particular brand? Uh, it depends also. Mm. Uh, for you as a beginner, I would recommend that you start with catfish. Catfish. Don't go in for a flat year till yeah. you've had enough experience. Catfish. Yes. Okay. And for the feeds, do you recommend a brand? Do you think uh, it's okay. commercial? Yes. Mm. Yeah, though, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how you can make your own feed at home. Oh, sounds yes. good. Okay. Yeah, let's move. And how often do you harvest? After six, six months. months. So twice a year. Yes. Mm. So you move. So how often do you move them from here to here? Size. Oh uh, yes, you do this. You do the grading after every month. Every month. So, so how do you tell? Uh -huh. no, what this? Yeah. What, how you tell? Mm. Yeah. This tells. Mm -hmm. You put everything in here. Everything. Oh, okay. ah. The small ones will escape. Oh. Okay. The big ones will not. Oh wow. Yes. And then, how often do you do that? Uh, every, every month. month. Then every after month. that, okay. we mm. shall get an, another net mm -hmm. without this. Mm -hmm. We we'll have only this. Just remember everything. Okay. Uh, huh? Then when you put all of them there, oh, the small know. ones that are still small, yes. we'll go th that, the ones that will go through this, yes. now will be able to go through this. Yes. Okay. Then those that have grown big yes. will, will stay. They won't be able to move, go through go that. Through wow. Yes. Interesting. I know very basic. Yeah, the other one there. is now that one has just been fertilized. Oh. So we are yet to stock. There's nothing in there. There's yeah, nothing. we are yet to yeah, stock. So they're getting okay. that ready like this. Exactly. Mm. exactly. And this yeah. bag is like you know, it's so cozy, but I think I got to Dubai. You know where to get, get this? this? Okay. Home Depot. Home no, Depot. No, no, no. I, got, I got my hammer for you. <laughs> Uh, Habba Fleet is cheaper than Home Depot. Yeah. I guess we just advertised Home Depot and Habba Fleet. Okay. It accommodates between 500 to 1,000. Say that fish. again. How big is this? Two, f two meters. Mm -hmm. Two meters. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. By, four, by meter. four meters. Okay. And it, it accommodates? accommodates uh, 500 fish. Okay. For a period of six months. Okay. The fish will have grown to between 800 grams to one kilogram. Wow. wow. Now, because here you don't have a lake, you don't have a river, mm. so you create a river for yourself. How? Okay. Mm -hmm. After putting in the water mm -hmm. and making it green, mm -hmm. that is called fertilizing the pond. Mm -hmm. You you do what? After every 14 days, mm -hmm. you remove part of the water. Mm -hmm. You don't remove all of it. No, no, I remember that. 10%. 10 percent of the water is removed. Part of it, you remove it, and then you take it to your garden. Mm -hmm and you top up with the fresh water. Okay. That's how you're able to saturate the water. How, much, how, how many water? liters? How do you turn it green? Uh, you use, uh, you, you, you grow, you grow it. You put in, uh, you can in put konge. in, you can put okay. in chicken dung. Oh, you chicken dung. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you drop it in there, or mm -hmm. pig dung. Mm -hmm. You drop it in there, you keep it in there for three hours. Three hours? Yeah, after that, it's ready. It's, the, the algae will start growing. After a week or two, the pond will have got fertilized and then your install your fish. Now we have two different types of algae. It's called algae. Mm -hmm. There is the green algae mm -hmm. and the brown algae. Oh. When it grows older, it changes to to brown. To brown. Yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. do the fish survive there though? Yes, they survive. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we have the fish. Wow. <laughs> 
That's all the fish. Yes, she likes catfish. She's a fish girl. Hello? Yeah.